Hey there guys, Axelopon is here. As you guys know, in two weeks we will have EU server launch and many of you guys are just asking what weapon should I start with. In this video, we have a list of top tier solo PvP weapons and I will make a tier list out of it and will tell you guys with the reason which weapon is the best to start. But before watching the video, please do not forget to participate in the giveaway, leave a like and subscribe please, it will be a huge help. Let's go. In the past video, I just managed to analyze top 50 PvP players sorted by fame in closed beta. But, you know, this is not a good source to learn what weapon you should play, because the top 50 players are just OP, try hard. In this video, we're gonna analyze every weapon that we have. Normal bow, bow of baton, carving sword, 100 fire staff, light crossbow, which I really love, battle axe, nature staff, dual swords, curse staff, blood letter, fist of avalanche, spears, prowling staff, and death givers. These weapons are mainly on the top of the food chain for solo players. Let's go and talk about the first weapon on the list. Bows in general are a little bit weak these days because of the nerfs, the W nerf. They nerf the bow itself, the normal bow itself, the nerf its E. The normal bow was a great great weapon one year ago, it was at the top of the food chain. The most important issue I have is the lack of PvE damage so if you are a new player which wants to really fame farm and maybe in the future gets into the pvp this is not a good option for you because uh, the pve on normal bow is so so slow the pvp in the future is not good it's not great so it's just a good option for players which are just in love with normal bow and they don't want to play another weapon. So it's really a D tier for new players. Bad and bow. I, I love the bad and bow, but as I said, they nerfed bows so much. They nerfed bad and bow in general two years ago, maybe when you were just using your E on the enemy, you could get so many heal on your mercenary jackets. Your mercenary jacket would proc when you use your E, but nowadays, you just only get uh, reflected when you use your E and you don't get heal from your mercenary jacket. It's so fun. I don't know. We have the same weapon like this, the same mechanic like Cursus. Why when Cursus Skull is using its E, you don't get hurt by deflect and you get heal from mercenary jacket. I don't know, Spion, what are you doing about bad and bow, but, but they nerfed bows to the ground, especially bad and bow. But this weapon has a better PvE experience in case of AoE damage on E, so it can be C tier. When you want to start the game, bad and bow will be so expensive. So I don't recommend you to play bad and bow. Okay, the next option that we have is carving sword. Carving sword is literally at the top of pvp food chain on mist for solo pvp uh, you cannot play it on corrupted dungeon it's not really good for corrupted dungeon but for mists it's really op the q stacks gives you movement speed and attack speed bonus the w has a great great route you can reach your enemy or even kite and the e the e has great great resistant reduction this weapon here is really great for a player which knows what he is doing and he can kill most of the players with this build. i don't think this weapon is a great option for new players but due to its great aoe damage and the great future you can have in the future for pvp if you just want to do pvp in two or three months you can learn it and be great with it and go into the mists and earn a lot of money. But for new players, I just want to just I put it in B tier. At the start of the server, it's not really a good option for you. Let's go for the next one. Fire Staff. Okay, my beloved Fire Staff. Fire Staff has great damage, has great potential, but a little bit low mobility. So in the current meta for missed it can be a good option but at the same time it can be a bad option you can have good matchups versus brawl builds but you can have really bad matchups 
against chitin builds but why is that because you have low mobility and most of the players will escape from you and most of the players don't want to just mess with you because you are fire staff but because of its great great aoe damage and the great great potential in pvp in mist and in corrupted dungeon i can really call it a s tier for new players to just start let's go to the next weapon and it's light crossbow light crossbow which i'm in love right now i'm in love with this weapon i just love playing with it at the start of the server on eu is really affordable this weapon is cheap it has great great amount of aoe damage and a good moderate to good potential in the future for your pvp and really it's not better than carving sword but the only reason that i'm just going to put it on a tier because it's great great early stage and really easy to play kinda in the early stages of the eu server the next weapon is battle axe they even nerfed battle axe somehow they nerfed its q but still still it's a great great weapon to main really there are so many youtubers and content creators which just play with battle axe and they can make a lot and lots of money and the more important thing about it is really easy to play for new players the sustainability is good the mobility is good and it's really cheap for early stages of the game because there are no artifacts to be the basic ingredients for this weapon so i will put it eight here and keep this in mind because it's cheap it's it has great aoe damage it's really easy to play for new players in the early stages and it has good potential in the future of pvp for new players so this is a good weapon to just spec up let's go for the nature staff as you can see nature staff is really not a pvp weapon but what it's really great for pve actions if you are a new 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 player and you don't know anything about pvp and even you don't want to do pvp in i i don't know upcoming six months and you're just thinking i for six months i just want to do pve gathering and i don't know maybe refining i just want to earn some fame the nature staff will be a s tier for you okay the next weapon is dual sword. in the close beta dual swords uh, alongside with the blood letter uh, was the most used weapon by the hand of the top 50 players but is this really good weapon or not dual sword is really cheaper sword than the carving and the pve experience is really not great but good because of the aoe damage on e and a great great damage on your w and the sustainability is good because always you use it with mercenary jacket dual swords so in the early stages it's really easy to play too because uh, it's brawling it's all brawling for a new player you, you just uh, don't need to do anything else you just need to press your e then w then hit your enemy with your e uh, and that's it Maybe just hit some Q stack as just press Q too. So this weapon is really cheaper than carving sword. It has a good future in your PvP in the future. It's an eight year for you. So you can use it if you are a new player and you just want to start on EU. The next weapon, the beloved cursor staff, the toxic one-handed cursor staff. Cursor staff is really cheap at the start of EU. Just I'm sure that is cheap because there are no artifacts to uh, help you make this weapon. It's just a normal material. So it has great, great single target damage. It's great at PvP, uh, especially at the early stages because um, the things that can counter Cursor Staffs, especially Mist Walker Jacket, is not present at the early stages of the game. So Cursor Staff can be an 8 tier because it has great single target damage but but because of its poor pve experience it's really bad guys so i just want to put it on b tier alongside with the carving so okay the next weapon is blood litter we have blood litter uh, which is the most used weapon alongside the dual sword at the by the hand of the top 50 players uh which i really love but you know the style of playing with blood litter 
is really pure kiting. It's brawling at the same time, but mostly pure kiting. It's really hard to play for new players. It's really kinda expensive and start to afford. And the style of play is really hard to master. With all of these in mind, I just prefer to put it somehow below uh, carving alongside with the battle bow if you are a new player it's not really really a good option for you fist of avalon the weapon which i was uh using in the past video and i love the player style but this weapon is really trash at the start for new players uh it's really expensive the pve experience is good moderate to good mm, like the blood deter uh, this the playing style is really hard you know it's just hitting the enemy turning invisible or escape and then hits the enemy back so this is not a great option for new players to start with but in the future if you just want to just start pvp and you love playing with these kind of weapons uh, which just uh, hit your enemy you kite you go back and hit your enemy again this is a good option for you the next weapon is a spear a spear is a uh, you know uh, spears are just just seems normal you just uh, like a normal guy in the society which is the most uh, powerful and the most rich person uh, he doesn't seem very special but the spear and the spear branch is really special because of the variety you have on your w's this spear has great aoe damage you can have a great great pve experience at the start the w you need to start pvp is triple and uh, it's really easy to achieve in the early, earliest stages of the game uh, the build itself is really cheap you can go with the assassin jacket at first but you can just upgrade it to stalker jacket stalker hood and soldier boots so i can put it on a steer definitely okay we have two more weapons crawling staff which is a top tier weapon uh, but they nerfed it a little bit and death givers okay first let's talk about death givers death givers was uh, at the top food chain of weapons for mist and crafted dungeon but lately i think with the dawn of the uh somehow carving spears and even uh blood letters death givers uh is not frequently used as it used to be and it's really expensive for new players to afford the pve experience is not great too so i do not recommend this weapon even though if you love this weapon just forget about it just do it maybe in three or two maybe six months uh, just don't play it immediately and do not aim to play with this weapon as you joined the server okay this can be maybe uh D tier, no, 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 it, it can be C tier you know, alongside the bad on bow and blood lizard. Okay, prowling staff, prowling staff is really, really expensive, but the PvE experience is so fun. If you reach uh, spec 85 on shapeshifter branch, you will unlock a great, great ability on your Q, which will really speed up your PvE experience. But at the start, this weapon is really, really expensive. It's it's moderate to good at pvp in the future because they nerfed it so much but still uh, in the hand by the hand of a good player you can manage to kill many many players especially top metals so it has good future but at the start is not good the pvp experience can be a little bit tough because you should know how to use your stacks how to switch between your two forms so i think it's even worse than death givers for new players to play at the start of the server so uh that's it guys that's it this is my tier list for pvp for solo pvp for new to average players i really hope you enjoyed watching this video i have a great great start on eu server do not forget to join my discord channel join my stream i stream daily on youtube and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching good luck